Well, Ray Romano basically, uh, when he started, was basically uh, uh, sh shy and, and not used to working with other people, not used to working like an actor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but he really, uh, uh, he really committed himself to it and, and put himself in it. And, and also, he, the character is very close to him. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Did he feed off of you? I mean, he was surrounded yeah. by a very professional cast. Yeah. Did he ask for advice ever, early on? Well, he just absorbed everything like a sponge. Mm -hmm. He really worked hard. He was really committed. And he just grew as an actor. But it was comfortable working with him. Oh, yeah, it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. And he, he uh, basically uh, is a very modest guy. How involved was he uh, totally. day to day? Totally. Eventually, he, uh, over the years, he became uh, like one of the writers. And he was involved in everything, the editing, the, uh, the writing. Mm -hmm. Was it almost like having a, a second director on the set? Did he, get it, did he involve himself in that way during the take? Well, you're not supposed to do that, but he did it. And nobody minded. Nobody minded. He did okay. it in a nice way. Okay. What would you say the differences are between the fictional Ray and the television Ray? Ray Romano's uh, uh, more obsessed than Ray Barone. He's a perfectionist, obsessive, compulsive a little bit, and uh, a perfectionist. And Ray Barone is, is, is the guy who you know, struggles to raise his family and deal with his crazy parents. He's, he's always the guy in the middle between a lot of warring factions between his mother and his father, between his wife and his, and his brother. Mm -hmm. So he's always the peacemaker. How would you say the two characters, well, the real Ray and the fictional Ray are similar? They both have a whiny voice. <laughs> Any other ways? No. I... They're very similar. They're very close. It's Ray's story. It's, 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 it's a unique show. You used to work with Ray on weekends, I understand? Uh, yeah, actually, when we first started, we would uh, rehearse on weekends. We had a guy who was a dialogue coach named Richard Marion who would come over, and Ray and I lived in the same apartment complex because I still lived back in New York, and Ray did too. And we would... We would rehearse, we would shoot uh, from Wednesday to Tuesday. So we would have a weekend off in the middle mm -hmm. and we would work on, on, on our stuff just to get it right. Do you think that helped Ray a great Oh time? yeah, it helped, and it helped me too. Sitcom is different from, from anything I've, I've done really. How so? Well, there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of jumps and switches and and, 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 and misleads in the show, in the script, and they, you don't they don't they don't all track. So you got to find a way of making them work. Mm -hmm. Is it a process that you found you uh, you enjoyed? Sitcom. I gradually learned it. I learned to deal with it. Did Frank favor Raymond over over Robert? I think he did. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs>